Hi, welcome to a new section of this course, Deploying, time to go live. In the previous section, you learned how to test your Vue applications. We tested them applying different testing techniques. In this section, we will make our applications go live by deploying them to a server and making them available to the world. We will also guarantee continuous integration and continuous deployment of our applications. This means that every time we commit changes performed on the applications, they will automatically be tested and deployed. With this in mind, in this section, we are going to do two things. Create GitHub repositories and set up a continuous deployment using Heroku. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with software deployment. In this video, we create GitHub repositories and have a look at the platforms which we'll be using. Also, we will see how to move our application to the GitHub repository. You can read more about it on this Wikipedia page. In our case, as we were deploying web applications, it means that there will be a public URL and any person will be able to type this URL on their browser and access the application. How can this be achieved? The simplest way is to provide your own IP address to your friends and run the application. Thus, people inside your private network will be able to access the application on their browser. So, for example, we will run the Pomodoro application. First, you need to change the directory with the cd command followed by the Pomodoro path and then execute the command npm run dev. And now check your IP. Type IP config. Here you will find your IP address. And then share the address with your friends on the same private network. In my case, it will be this. However, only your friends who are inside your network will be able to access the application, and there's obviously not that much fun in it. You can use some software that will create a publicly accessible address and thus transform your computer into a hosting provider. Take an example, ngrok, which you can find at this website. Let's run the application and then run the command ngrok http 8080. This will create an address that will be accessible from anywhere, just like a regular website. In our case, it would be this website. You can share this address on your social networks and everybody will be able to access it and try the Pomodoro application. But stop! We can leave our laptop on for the whole night, but we can't leave it on forever. Once we switch it off, the network connection is lost and there is no access to our application anymore. We also need to change the name of the website. There are more robust ways. The example to a virtual instance on AWS, that is Amazon Web Services, copy my application to this instance, buy a domain at a domain provider such as GoDaddy, associate this domain to the bought instance's IP and run the application there and it will be accessible, maintained, backed up and taken care of by the Amazon service. Amazing, but expensive as hell. For now, for this section, we want our deployment solution to be cheap, where cheap means free, robust, and simple. That is why we will deploy our application to Heroku, a cloud application platform. In order to do that, we will first host our application on GitHub. Do you remember that deployment is something that makes our application ready to use? We consider an application to be ready to use when it's tested and when tests are not failing. So our necessary activities to deploy the application will be these steps. First, create GitHub repositories for the applications and move the applications into the repositories. Lastly, connect applications to Heroku and set up and configure them in order to Heroku to run them and expose them to the world. In the next three subsections, we will give a small introduction to GitHub, Travis, and Heroku. So if you don't know what GitHub is, let me give you a brief introduction to this. GitHub is a hosting provider for Git-based projects. It can be used at a small personal scale for individual private and public projects. It can also be used for big corporate projects and all development-related activities, such as code, reviews, continuous integration, and so on. 
everyone who lives in the world of open source software knows GitHub. If you're going through this course about Vue, which is hosted on GitHub, at this link. Now the next question is, what is Travis? Travis is a tool for GitHub that allows us to connect GitHub projects to it and ensure their quality. It runs tests in your projects and tells you that the build has passed or warns you that the build has failed. Check out some more about Travis and how to use it at this web page. Now, the last one is HeroQ. It is a cloud platform for deploying your apps. It is extremely easy to use. You just create an application, give it a nice meaningful name, connect it to your GitHub project, and voila! Each time you push to a given branch, for example, to the master branch, HeroQ will just run a script provided by you as an entry point script of your app and redeploy it. It is highly configurable and also provides a command line interface so that you can access all your applications from your local command line without having to check your HeroQ dashboard website. So, we start by creating the GitHub repositories for our applications. We will use the code from the Section 8 Pomodoro folder and Section 8 shopping list directories. If you still don't have an account on GitHub, create it. Now log in to your GitHub account and create two repositories, Pomodoro and Shopping List. Initiating with the shopping list, so we create a new repository and call it Shopping List. Once you click the Create Repository button, a page with different instructions appears. We are particularly interested in the second paragraph which says, or create a new repository on the command line. Copy these commands and paste it to the command line while in the shopping list application directory. Now we remove the first line because we already have the readme file and modify the third line to add everything inside the directory based on the link shown in your GitHub account. And hit the enter button. Switch to the CMD terminal to initialize GitHub with git in it. Then we type git add readme.md. Include this line of code and run it. Further, we run the third line from the code. Lastly, we use the last line from the code and run it in the CMD. Now switch to the GitHub account page and refresh your GitHub project page, and you will see that all the code is there. In our case, it is at this web address. Do the same for the Pomodoro application. Create a new repository and name it as Pomodoro. Now click on Create Repository button. Switch to Command Prompt and CD into the Pomodoro folder. Here we run all the commands one by one. We have successfully applied all the syntax. Let's view the output on the GitHub link. Great! The Pomodoro repository is created with all the elements. In this video, we explored about software deployment, 